Hi guys and welcome to Puddin's first cooking demonstration. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Toyin and I'm the owner of Puddin. Today we're gonna make something new. Um, I love to try new foods. I come across a lot of people who don't like to try new foods and what I always wanna tell them is your favorite meal may be something you've never had. So today what we're going to do is we're gonna make a Thai inspired stir fry. Now, please don't judge me. I went to Thailand recently and I totally loved the food and I was inspired by everything that they were making. So this is just kind of my take on it. So if I'm not doing all the correct Thai technique, please don't judge me, but the flavor is gonna be awesome. So what we have are three different kinds of mushrooms here today. We have a king trumpet mushroom that you see here. It's kind of got a really long neck. We've got a, a button mushroom that I think everybody is pretty familiar with. That's kind of the standard mushroom. Then we have something here called hen of the woods. This is a really crazy looking mushroom, super gnarly, but awesome, tastes great. Um, it's kind of like a mossy mushroom. So we have three examples of what they look like whole here as well. So we're also gonna add some baby bok choy, which is just a mini version of the regular big bok choy. Um, I would encourage you to cut these in half and really give them a good rinse on the inside. Before I set up this wonderful display here, I noticed that there was a lot of sand inside of those baby bok choy. So make sure you rinse those out really well because you don't want unnecessary crunchiness in your stir fry. We're also going to add some red bell peppers and some green onions. We also have some fish sauce here. Fish sauce is very common. You can find it in most of your grocery stores in um, the international aisle or the condiments aisle, but definitely give it a try. It adds a punch of flavor to any dish, not just Asian inspired dishes. We also have some grapeseed oil. You can use whatever kind of oil you like though. I like grapeseed oil. We've got about two tablespoons of garlic, about a tablespoon of minced uh, ginger. We have some green chili peppers here. Now, if you don't like heat, I would dial it back. I love heat. So I always add more pepper than is necessary. So that's really good. Just chop that up. This is what it looks like whole though, just so you can see it. We also have some brown sugar here. And feel free to omit the brown sugar if you have any kind of uh, health issues such as diabetes or if you're just trying to cut back on sugar. And then we have some Chinese cooking wine here as well. I am, I'm, I'm thinking I might use these two um, halves of lime as well just to give it a bit of a punch of flavor at the end. But follow me on this journey and we'll see how it goes. All right guys, so here we go. You wanna start out with a really, really hot pan preferably a wok. Now, as you can see, this is not a wok. This is, I spent all my money on a light crusade and I don't have a wok, but we're going to work with this anyway. So we're going to start with our oil. You want to make sure your pan is nice and hot. Go ahead and put that in. Your oil should quickly start to get very, very loose. Okay. Then we're going to add in our garlic. Your garlic is going to start moving around pretty fast here and getting very hot. So just make sure you stir that around so that it does not burn. We do not want burnt garlic in here, but toasted garlic is absolutely okay. Next thing we're gonna do is throw in that ginger. Oh my goodness, and I wish there was smell of vision right now because this is amazing, it smells amazing. We're gonna throw in our green bell peppers, excuse me, red bell peppers and green onions. Give that a nice stir. Oh my goodness, it already smells so amazing. We're halfway there. Now, this is not something that you're gonna cook for a very long time. You're gonna cook this very quickly. We're gonna throw in our tiny cooking wine. And you want it, you want everything to sizzle. You want it to cook very fast, all right? And then of course, our fish sauce, which is gonna give us all the flavor. I'm gonna let that cook down just a little bit. Now, if you add your red, if you add your pepper right now, your green chilies right now, the longer they cook, the less spicy they are. So I like to add them towards the middle end, which believe it or not, we're already at the middle here because it's just about cooked. So we're keeping our flavors very fresh here. Whenever you're making a stir fry, you never want anything to overcook. It's no longer a stir fry once it starts to overcook. It becomes just a mush of vegetables and you want everything to stay nice and crunchy. All right, next we're gonna do all of our mushrooms. Once again, if you guys can't find these mushrooms, you can use any vegetables you like. Really the base of this is gonna be the scallions, the ginger, and the garlic. So make sure you have those ingredients and then just get really creative with everything else. All right, so we're gonna toss in our mushrooms. 
I don't have space, so I'm going to put it there <laughs> and just mix those all around. Turn up the heat a little bit. Wow, guys, this is going to be amazing. Now, you can serve this over rice if you like, or you, if you're on a low carb diet, or if you're just trying to cut back on carbs in general, you can go ahead and just eat it as is, maybe add a protein. I'm going to put in our brown sugar. Give that a quick stir. And believe it or not, we're almost done. I'm really not trying to slave over the stove today, so this is going to be a quick meal. All right, last but not least, we're going to throw in our baby bok choy. Um, I prefer not to overcook my vegetables, and that's why I want this to be at the end. I really just kind of want this to steam and get the flavors in, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to pour this all in here right on top and then toss it together. If there's a little bit of water in there, don't worry about it from rinsing it off. Oh my God. My Thai brothers and sisters would be so proud of me right now. I think I'm killing it. All right, guys. We're gonna turn this all the way up. I'm gonna let this do its thing for a couple seconds here. And then I'm going to taste it and figure out if I should put some lime juice on top. See you guys at the other end. All right, guys, so we're all done with the stir frying. So now I'm going to give this a taste to see if we need to add that lime juice to it. Oh, wow. Amazing. But we'll go ahead and add just a little bit of lime juice. Take it to the next level. Wonderful. All right, great. So you can also add some protein to this. I've smoked some mussels, and it's going to be amazing to make this into a main dish. You can add shrimp, you can add chicken, whatever you like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put those in there. These are amazing local mushrooms. All right. Give these a big toss. Now you can serve this as a mussels pot. You can serve this over rice. It's so versatile. And guess what? Now you know how to make a Thai stir fry. Thank you so much. My name is Toyin from Puddin. Hope to see you again. Hey guys, if you love this video, then please follow us at DC Puddin on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. We'd love to see you again. Thanks so much for watching.